welcome to the show. I'm Judy. And I'm Jen. Amy Winehouse's cremation took place today in Golders Green in North London at 3pm. Although the cause of death is not yet known, the private ceremony went ahead with both family and close friends attending. We hate to say this, but we really hope Irish actor Jonathan Rhys Myers doesn't go down the same path as Amy. Less than a month ago, 33-year-old Myers was taken away in an ambulance after reportedly trying to commit suicide by overdosing on pills. Now a video has been posted online showing what appears to be a very drunk Myers swaying back and forth singing Bob Marley's No Woman, No Cry. Given that Jonathan has been a battling alcoholism for the, a long time and has been in rehab five times, this video is really not a good sign. We'd hate to see another great talent wasted. Now, Ollie Murs didn't quite have the X Factor back in 2009, but he's determined to prove that he's got the extra factor now. The pop star who is taking over the spin-off show alongside Caroline Flack has vowed to return the show to its former glory after Connie Hook's disaster last year. Ollie and Caroline are just two of many new faces who will be appearing in the upcoming series, with Gary Barlow to Lisa, Kelly Rowland taking on roles as judges. Now, we love our dose of reality TV like everyone else, but this next story is a little bit ridiculous. The Only Way is Essex could now be aired 48 weeks of the year due to its huge success. The ITV bosses believe the hit show is good enough to enjoy soap status. With an average audience of 1.4 million, a devoted online following and a BAFTA audience award, love it or hate it folks, this series doesn't seem to be going anywhere soon. Now there's a war going on among the Jackson family after a tribute concert to the late star was announced yesterday. Michael's mother Catherine told a press conference that the show will take place in the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff on October 8th adding that it would be attended by as many family members that are available. Hmm. However, Jermaine and Randy Jackson were quick to release a statement, which they said they believed the timing of the concert was inappropriate and ill-timed, and it does not reflect the position of the entire family. The tribute concert falls just two weeks after the criminal trial of Conrad Murray, who was the doctor charged with the manslaughter of Michael Jackson. Something tells me that this won't be the last we hear of this one. Since her stint on Dancing with the Stars, Kirsty Alley has been looking youthful and stunning. It is believed she lost around two and a half stone during the American dance competition. But what is difficult to believe is the fact that Kirsty is 60 years old. The newly slimmed down Look Who's Talking actress looks seriously sexy at 60. The star who's renowned for her yo-yo dieting and has made many appearances on Oprah about her weight issues has reportedly gained half a stone since the series ended. Let's hope Kirsty stays fit and healthy as she is inspiration to us all. Now, for those of you who like to keep up with the Kardashians, Kim has revealed her battle with psoriasis. The reality star who makes millions from modeling each year has developed the incurable skin condition which leaves an angry red rash all over her body. The latest episode of the series shows Kim freaking out about the effect it will have on her career which is dependent on doing ad campaigns and swimwear shoots. Worth an estimated $35 million, we think Kim is going to be just fine. Bringing you back home, the lovely Mary Byrne was at the Grand Canal Theatre yesterday promoting her stage debut in Greece. Make sure to check out our Judy speaking with her on the guest list. And that wraps up today's top showbiz stories. We'll be back tomorrow. Take care. Take care.